Cameras on, listen. We out here in Beaumont, Texas. Kendrick Ferguson told me to come down here. We ready to start the motherfucking show. You see, as you can see, the vibe is getting set off right now. I'm going to show you some shit back here. Oh, okay. All right, good. Send a shout out to my boy Perk. Let me be a part of the holiday special. With David Arnold Flex, Chris Spencer, Big Knocker from Beaumont, me, Nate Mingo. Shout out to the host Billy Surreal, TCR Key, Jazzy Red, the DJ, you know what I'm saying? Just out here, you know. Uh, Jefferson Theater right here in Beaumont, Texas. And uh, guess what, man? We're out here doing a real big man for the uh, what is it, Brothers Forever? The Brothers Forever Comedy Tour, man, is going down, man. My man Flex Alexander's in the building, man. We got uh, we got Chris Spencer, we got Nate Mingo, we got Big Knocker, we got David A. Arnold, man. We got everybody. You got your big homie too, man. On the ones and twos, uh, you know, trying to hold it down for uh, for the comedians. That's what I do, you know. So that's what we are, man. That's what we're here in Beaumont, Texas, doing a real big representing Jazzy Red and his own like that. Yo, this is Flex Alexander. Uh, man, shit, I've been doing TV since 1991. Uptown Comic Club, where I live. Homeboys in Outer Space. Uh, guys, man, CSI, Grey's Anatomy, uh, Total Security, One on One, Snakes on the Plane, Hills Have Eyes Too. I want to shout out Kendra Perkins. Definitely for having us, uh, for doing this in your hometown, trying to bring something fun uh, and entertaining for the people. So, shout out to you for sure. And uh, yeah, man, we're just having fun here. David Arnold's on the stage right now, killing it as usual. And then uh, Chris Spencer is going up there, and uh, Billy's holding it down. Everybody just did their thing tonight. So, uh, happy to be here. I got some down home cooking. I'm supposed to go to the turkey leg or turkey wing. Turkey leg. Yeah, turkey leg hunt, but it might be too late. By the time we finish, but next time I'm gonna we'll get there. Of course, like anybody else, and every comedian that started, uh, well, for my generation, it was Eddie Murphy. But when I was younger, I listened, I snuck and I listened to uh, Bicentennial Nigga by Richard Pryor. That was the first comedy album I ever heard. And my mother had that album, I heard that joint. I was like, yo, what is this? And I remember him doing the character Mudbone. And I was, you know, blew me away. And then, obviously, it was 14, I think, when uh, Delirious came out. And I'm standing, and I'm looking at the TV, and I'm like, I said, Mom, that's what I'm gonna do one day. And she said, Okay, baby, all right, if you say so. And uh, my mom actually reminds me of that today. She said, You said that's what you was gonna do, and now you're traveling everywhere, you know, doing it. I mean, I started stand up in 1989. I started stand up, and my, you know, some of the guys I ran with. Martin Lawrence, you know, did a lot of shows with him. Uh, Chris uh, Rock was another one I looked up to, um, still look up to. Dave Chappelle, I used to do a lot of shows with him. Uh, and run around New York City. Um, and it was just a way of life, man. Comedy, we just, every day in New York, we do two to three shows a night. A show in Brooklyn, show in Queens, you know, Long Island. You know, just to get on stage and get those reps, because that was the most important thing. Then I took a layoff uh, at the beginning of one on one. I was still traveling, but I just had my daughter. And I was like, you know what, man? I don't want to be gone all the time. Come back, and she's grown, and I don't know her. She doesn't know me, and I missed all that. So I made a choice to stay home. And I was making the money, so I didn't need to go on the road. But I missed a lot of valuable time. I missed a lot of valuable stage time. But I don't regret being there for my kids, not one bit. So now, in the last two years, uh, Chris Spencer has really, you know, kind of, 
you know, grab me and said, man, let's get out of the experience. No, no. I mean, I always love getting on stage, man. Always. Um, anytime you go out there, tell your stories, tell your truth, man, it's always good. So, you know, and they, you know, we waited a while, but they ready, they ready to laugh. They wanted to laugh, man. It's good, good down home fun.